Hey, how's it going? It's Gila and welcome back for another video. So today I'm actually gonna be sharing with you guys how I set up my 2021 reading journal. I finally finished all the pages, so this little baby is ready to be shared with the world. It actually took a little while longer, so that's why in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you only a little flip through of the general spreads that I did in the beginning of the video but if any of you guys are curious about how I made the pages I will be uploading a separate video on my journaling channel of the entire process so yeah it would have been way too long to actually include both uh, that process as well as a January plan with me in this video so I decided to shorten it and just uh, give you a little flip through of the first pages of my 2020 reading journal so here we go Starting the flip through, I have here the first couple of pages, which are just kind of like um, a little beginning pages, I guess. I just decided to write out here 2021 in uh, words because I really wanted to use this uh, effect. You may actually remember this from one of my 2020 monthly spreads. I did a similar design and I really liked it. So I decided to use the same thing here in my uh, 2021 journal. I think it actually looks really pretty i love the effect that it has and i just i honestly love just looking at this page i think it looks really cool <laughs> yeah then on the next page i just decided to write out this quote that's uh, hopefully gonna be guiding my uh, life throughout 2021 it says you don't need to be extreme just consistent <laughs> because i do feel like consistency is something that i really struggle with in most aspects of my life but especially when it comes to reading and online content creating so uh yeah i will be striving for more consistency in the new year yeah hopefully looking back i'll be able to see that i did that uh yeah okay moving on to the next spread it is my 2020 goals for this one i just <laughs> decided to be a little extra and do this circular thing <laughs> it's not my favorite thing in the world but thankfully for the new year i'm uh, I've decided to just, even though I do have some written down goals, I will be keeping my reading pretty loose. So I won't be too strict with myself uh, when it comes to reading certain books, but I did want to have some guidelines in like which directions I want to take my reading in the new year. So <laughs> for instance, I do want to focus more on branching out of um, young adult. I want to read more adult and middle grade books as well. So this page serves more as a reminder to just uh, read more books than just the young adult, which I've been doing so far. Then yeah, on the next page I have my uh, yearly goal. This is basically the Goodreads goal, which I've set to 75 books for 2021. I think this year I've read about 80 books. I think I'm at 80 at the moment, but I still plan on reading a couple more books, so yeah. <laughs> If nothing else, 2020 sucked, but it uh, did wonders for my reading. I feel like I read much more than I would have otherwise. So uh, yeah, there is not only negative, I guess. In the past year, there's also some positives. So yeah, I hope next year I'm going to be able to read at least 75 books. But if I don't, that's okay as well. So yeah, okay, then moving on to the next press, I have my anticipated releases in this calendar style. So... <laughs> This is probably my favorite spread out of my journal so far. I am in love with the contrast and the neutral colors. I do love black and white spreads, so this is one of my favorites, especially since the gray kind of adds some gradation to the to the page as well, if that makes sense. So yeah, I will be filling out these pages very, very soon. I'm still finalizing my 2021 uh, TBRs and all the lists that I'm gonna be sharing with you soon as well. So hopefully this is gonna be filled out soon. Here is the months for the second half of the year as well. So yeah, I am. I love the way these, <laughs> these pages turned out. So yeah. Okay, then moving on, I have a list of, or I will have a list of 20, no, 21 books I would like to read in 2021. So this is something that a lot of booktubers do and this year I decided to challenge myself to make a list like this as well so here you can see i've separated it to backlisted books and to 2020 releases so yeah i'm also still finalizing this list as well i have way too many books that i want to add to the list so i really need to narrow it down to the ones that i will be focusing on in the new year so yeah this little book design which i think was inspired by one of the other journaling videos that i saw it wasn't a reading journal it was like a a planner setup but i remember them drawing this kind of design and i decided to 
try and recreate it in my journal as well. I really love the way that turned out. Uh, okay, moving on. I have some series that I would like to read in 2021. Now, looking at this, I actually uh, realized one page might be a bit too small for all the series that... For one, I've started a lot of series in 2020 uh, and not really finished that many of them. So there's still many that I would like to finish in 2021 as well as read and start some new ones. So fitting them all in this page, I don't think that's gonna work. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to dedicate another page to that. Okay, but moving on. Oh yeah, the next page is actually this uh, page. Which is, once again, just a reminder to read more diverse books, to read more books that feature different representation. Now, last year I actually printed out a diversity bingo, a little template, and that really helped me look out for more um, types of diversity in books. Like, I don't think I would have remembered to read more books with uh, different ability representation, but the diversity bingo definitely really helped me out with that. So I think on this page I'm just gonna, I don't know, maybe create a diversity bingo-like template on my own. So once again, just to have a reminder of the kind of diverse books I should be reading and focusing on more. So, yeah. Then I left here a blank page, which is kind of like an extra page if I remember any other um, spread that I would like to do. And for the last page here, I have a, a little graph or like I'm gonna be making lists of the adult and middle grade books that I would like to focus on. This once again goes hand in hand with what I was saying before. I would like to branch out from young adult, which has been my main genre so far. I would like to read more adult and middle grade books. So this is once again just a reminder to actually do that and plan some, some of the books that I could be reading. <laughs> Okay, yeah, then I just once again left some blank pages. I do have some ideas how I'm gonna fill this up, but last year one of the things that I struggled with was that once I was done with my general spreads, I jumped straight into my January spread. And then a couple of weeks later, I actually remembered some other general spreads that I wanted to include in this first part of the reading journal, but I didn't have the space so I couldn't squeeze them in. <laughs> so this year I just decided to leave some pages blank in case I have an idea of an extra spread or something. As you can see I've already written down some which I uh, remembered, but I still need to figure out whether to actually do them and what I want them to look like. So yeah, but that is it for this first part of the video of the um, general part of my spreads. I'm gonna show you a little quick flip through once again. And then we're just gonna start with my January plan with me. So I hope you enjoy that as well. And I'm gonna give you a little flip through at the end as well. So yeah, these are, by the way, something else I wanted to share with you guys is that this kind of first part of my reading journal I usually use to plan out my reading, but not so much to track my reading because <laughs> one thing I ended up doing in 2020 is that I made some spread in the back of my journal where I actually ended up um, tracking all of my reading, like the favorite books that I read in 2020 or uh, I'm gonna be filling in all the books that I read in 2021 because I would really like to have this visual representation in my journal as well, as well as like uh, seasonal recommendations. This is something I'm gonna be filling in throughout the year, so I decided to keep those uh, spreads in the back of my journal for 2021. So yeah, but I'm gonna be creating those uh, probably the first week of January as soon as I start actually reading um, some books in 2020. 2021. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be confusing for about a month. So yeah, okay, that's it for this general part. I'm gonna leave you to my January plan with me, so I hope you enjoyed that part as well. Okay, so here I go setting up my January reading bullet journal spreads. For this first month of the new year, I decided to go with a more wintry theme. I guess I'm calling it like winter magic. <laughs> and yeah, throughout the spread, I'm just gonna try to use as many like wintry elements as I can. For this first page, I'm actually using a painting that I did myself off camera. I decided to do it off camera just because I didn't know whether it was gonna turn out good or not. So yeah, I wasn't really gonna use it if it didn't look good, but like it, it turned out okay. So I'm gonna put it on this first page. It's a design that was inspired by a photo that I found on Pinterest. So 
yeah i just i like the way that it looks kind of very cozy but also kind of whimsical which is exactly what i'm going for with this german wings press but also with my tbr for for january uh yeah in january i guess i'm gonna be focusing a lot more on trying to read some more wintery books especially i think there is a subgenre within fantasy called polar fantasy which is all about like this fantasy story set in a more snowy setting so yeah i have my eyes on a couple of books already that I would like to include in my TBR so I really hope TV Darts is good to me and I'll be able to include them via the TBR game <laughs> but otherwise I would still really like to pick them up in January Yeah, for the title January for this month, I decided to use these uh, letter stamps that I got a while back and I really don't use often enough it makes writing out any kind of title so much easier, so I might making a thing. I might making make, make it a thing in 2021 where I use them for month title every single month. <laughs> uh, yeah, they are just yeah one of my favorite things to use nowadays because they make the job so much easier without having to worry of it not looking too neat. Even though it can smudge because of. Uh, like the square of the of the stamp can get smudged a little bit, so you have to be careful with that. It happened to me a couple of times with this title, but that's okay. You know, mistakes can happen sometimes. But yeah, okay. Onto the second page. Here is my TBR page. I don't yet know what I'm gonna be reading because I have yet to play TV darts for for the new year. So. I uh, haven't figured out my TBR whole yet, but I do know there's gonna be a two-parter because there is like a, a secret TBR thing that I have going on, or it's not a secret, I'm just deciding to keep it a secret for now, um, but I'm gonna be filming a video for it. It includes another booktuber, that's why I drew a little um, YouTube sign underneath. If you get glue on your page, by the way, just try rubbing it off with your finger. <laughs> in this case, it actually uh, ended up working out for me. I could um, rub it off and it didn't leave any stain behind, or like a little bit of stain, but that was because my fingers were so stained from the ink. But anyway, yeah, that was a little, <laughs> a little side note. But as I was saying, there was a booktuber who decided to pick some books for me, and I haven't been able to get to them in um, December. Uh, or in 2020 in general, so I really hope to get to them in January. So yeah, that's gonna be a little project happening in the new year. <laughs> and yeah, the first box is for the TV Darts books and the second box is for the other TPR which I just mentioned. So that's why there are two parts to this, <laughs> to this page. For the title of these pages, I am just actually learning to embrace the kind of minimalist look, so just writing it out in this tiny font, and I think it looks really elegant, so I'm probably gonna be incorporating that in a lot more spreads in the future as well. I think it looks very pretty, kind of minimal and elegant, so uh, yeah, I really like the way that turned out. And on the top, I just decided to add some uh, scrapbook paper or like craft paper to make it um, even more contrasty. You'll notice that I've been using a lot of black and white in my threads recently. If you have any good polar fantasy recommendations, by the way, definitely feel free to leave them down uh, in the comments below because I'd love to hear some of your recommendations.
Okay, that is the TBR page done. Now for the next page, which is gonna be my reading tracker page. I'm gonna be using black paper for this one and uh, drawing and keeping track on that black paper. This ended up being a lot more tricky to set up actually than I was anticipating because the uh, gel pen that I was using, the white gel pen, kept smudging all over and uh, throughout while I was doing the small squares it actually stuck to the ruler as well so uh, there ended up being a lot of the glue or the, the paint on the ruler as well so that kept smudging yeah, I just you have to be really careful with black paper and a white gel pen, especially if using a ruler because it can turn really messy. But yeah, I just uh, I ended up doing it really slowly. That's why I skipped this bit here. I um, yeah sped it up a little bit so I don't bore you guys too much. Yeah, I love the way this looks. Um, I really this was my first time using black as a complete like background and not just like part of the background. And yeah, while it was definitely tricky and there were some things to figure out, it actually... I love the way the end result looks, so I'm really happy that I gave it a try. I think it looks super... I don't know, very stark for some reason. I think the white really pops out of the black here. It's definitely thanks to the white gel pen as well. <laughs> I think this one is one that I got off of Amazon a couple of months ago. Uh, if I can find it, I'm gonna link it below. And if I can find a non-Amazon link, I'm gonna link that one. <laughs> but yeah, I am quite happy with this one. And it was a pack of a silver, a white, and a golden one. So yeah, they are all really, really good. I'm just numbering the boxes now so I can keep track of my reading during December. There's 31 days, so 31 boxes, of course. <laughs> and yeah, that is that page done. I'm just gonna glue it in now. <laughs> And yeah, I like the way this one turned out actually. I don't yet know whether I'm gonna be coloring in all the boxes or just crossing them out because I think coloring them in would use up a lot of the, the gel in the gel pen. So I don't think that would be a good idea, but maybe just crossing them out. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm having a little <laughs> uh, inner dialogue out loud, I think. <laughs> Anyway, that being glued in, it was time to go to the last page, which is gonna be the end of the month kind of um, wrap up page. So, a space for my favorite book of the month, favorite quote of the month, as well as some monthly stats I decided to include for the first time. Um, so, yeah, for this one, I'm just drawing in a couple of snowflake designs that I once again found on the internet. The internet is a wonderful thing to be inspired, especially when it comes to journaling. Uh, so yeah, these are some of the designs that I drew in here, um, along with some boxes where I'm gonna write in my favorite quote and favorite book of the month. And by the way, if anybody's curious why there is a book beside a notebook, a little tip for anybody who does journaling and in the beginning you know the right hand of the journal is usually very thick because most of the papers are there and it can be a very big like height difference between the journaling surface and the desk <laughs> so it can be really hard to actually write anything on like the right side of the journal and that's why I actually used a book beside the journal to even out uh, the surfaces <laughs> so I could rest my hand more comfortably. So yeah, if you're struggling with that as well, I just suggest using something to lift your hand when you're writing or doing anything on the right on the right side of the page. It, it's really helpful. <laughs> so yeah, even using like another notebook or maybe even putting like your hand or something underneath just to lift your your uh, the hand that you're writing with. <laughs> I guess if you were left-handed, you would have the struggles on the left side of your journal. Anyway, yeah, so here I'm also writing in the stats that I'm gonna fill up at the end of the month. So yeah, just the last little details and that is January done. <laughs> okay, so that concludes my January reading journal setup. Let me show you a final flip through of what the pages end up looking like. Of course, the title page and the TBR page, which I still have to fill out. Then for the reading tracker page and a final monthly review page. Here I just wrote down what I'm going to be tracking by the end of the month. So stuff like the number of books read, then the number of audiobooks listened to, uh, how many goals or target I targeted with the books that I read, and an average rating. So these are some of 
the ideas that I have of what I'm gonna be tracking but I might add some stuff later on as well so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and that you like uh, this setup both the general and the January part so yeah let me know if you have maybe a favorite spread in here or if you like a certain part for the best <laughs> okay that's literally the same thing but you know what I mean <laughs> So yeah, that concludes this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. Uh, I'm gonna go now. I hope you're having a good day or night. I'm gonna chat with you guys down in the comments. So um, yeah, till next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>